Welcome back to the Justice Fact as we continue our discussion on June 16 and the future of youth in South Africa. My guests are Mbalin Tuli, DA Youth Leader, Mahasalam Zobe, coordinator of the NC Youth League, and National Youth Development Agency Chairman Yashan Pile. Guys, um, um, let's, let's start with you, Yashan. Welcome to the show. Um, both uh, my panelists here have said that we've got a problem. Young people are high unemployment. It's a ticking time bomb, as Mahasala, a time bomb, as Mahasala uh, put it. Um, do you agree with that? And why is it, after so many years, the NYDA doesn't seem to have made a dent in this problem? Because that's where government money is being put, 400 million rand a year. But I'm, I'm, I'm not seeing happiness on the, or to your left there. We must agree it's a problem, but it's not a local problem. It's a global one. We know that for a fact because we see the protests taking place in other parts of the world. But we asked the question, the NYDA since establishment... The thing as we know it's a global problem, and in, 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 in whether it's in Turkey or elsewhere, where there is high unemployment, why aren't we learning and creating jobs more quickly with the help of the NYDA particularly? We are, but remember the role of the NYDA is to coordinate the work. So when we have, for example, we take a, a model from the U.S., which is a youth built infrastructure program, and you put 2,000 young people through that program, it means we're learning from the rest of the world. What we need to, to do, as you've quite correctly put out, when you create 73,920 jobs in the context of 7.5 million young people, that's a scratch on a picture that we need to make a dent on. Mm. So the question then is to say, how do we work together to do more? But you can't expect one agency to correct this problem. It's taken 18 years for you to get to that level of uh, achievement. Uh, do, do you guys agree that the NYDA is the root uh, as a structure of government to achieve what, what we should be achieving on unemployment in Bali? <laughs> the NYDA poses a tricky question because in its um, conception, it should be the kind of agency that should really be pushing for young people to be able to access economic opportunities. I think that their priorities are skewed and that there isn't enough of a push towards real entrepreneurship. We've seen um, quite a few collapses of some of the funds that they've had in the past that haven't been able to have young entrepreneurs actually start businesses, which is initially what they were meant to do. Um, and I think it's because it's become a highly politicized board. Um, people have criticized the NYDA for that. And if you have the same people thinking of the same ideas, um, it's very difficult to see that there's going to be any change because we know that the one thing that stagnates South Africa is the lack of implementation. Mm -hmm. So I don't think young people are interested in hearing what mm -hmm. the NYDA has been saying or has to say if we aren't going to see real results. Um, Mahasala, let's take the, let's take the light uh, away from just the NYDA. I mean, do we need a, th th this 7.4 million young people out of job? Should we, should we consider a special dedicated youth ministry in South Africa? No, we have called for it, and uh, we, we will be lobbying the ANC leadership and the president of the country to create a youth ministry after the national general elections next day. But uh, we also have confidence, full confidence, on the ability of the NOIDA to deliver uh, on its mandate. And uh, we know the previous problems that have been there, but uh, there's a new port and uh, there's new energy. Uh, we just hope that government will add more money as they ask for more money. I, 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 I suspect, and I don't know if uh, Yeshan would be able to answer this, but the, the problem you mentioned, you've got, new, uh, you've got uh, uh, faith in the new NYDA board, but this is 18 years down the, lane, uh, uh, down the line, a youth ministry, there is one actually, and it's called the Ministry of Youth, uh, Children, uh, yes. Women and Disabled uh, People. And both of them have not inspired me personally to, to no. the same optimism you have. No, that's the that's Ministry of Women, Children and uh, People with Disabilities. We want a dedicated youth ministry focusing on mainstreaming the youth development in the country, mainstreaming the youth uh, issues, and uh, we don't want them to be dealt with. Uh, yes, and you think it will help your cause? Certainly, because the NYD's role is to coordinate youth development. So there's many other countries that have a similar structure. It's simply to say, when you talk about career guidance, higher education and training is doing it. You talk about, um, you know, uh, cooperatives, DTI. Someone's mm -hmm. got to coordinate this work. Someone has to pull it together so we see the high impact on well, the Sorry, guys, but that brings us to 35 ministries. Uh, Mbali? No, I was going to say, so 
Is that the job of the NYDA, to say to all the ministries that they should be doing something about the youth? Or is the NYDA supposed to be putting on the policy platforms that they should be then adopting within their ministries to actually incentivize and roll out to young people? Because otherwise, w what have we been doing all this time? Who has been coordinating youth issues in this country since up till now then, since we've had the NYDA? Then that needs to be the question that we need to be asking, because then that means that youth issues haven't been championed at all then. A fair question, Mahasa. No. NYDA, people must understand, is an agency, it's not uh, a department. And uh, it operates through lobbying of other departments. That's why we said we need a dedicated youth ministry whose responsibility won't be to lobby. It will mm. be full uh, budget uh, and full okay, powers. Okay, Yashan, you get the last word on this issue. The Act, the NYDA Act 54 to of 2008, is very clear about what the mandate of the NYDA is to mm. create and promote coordination youth development matters. That's what the Act says. So that's not up for discussion. What we need to do as the NYDA is to work together with all social partners and make sure that uh, we, we prioritize what we need to prioritize. Education and skills development is a priority. Mm -hmm. Most young people are earning their income from salaries and remittances as opposed to business-related activities. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. Um, so guys, education is another big problem in South Africa. We are 143 out of 144, according to the World Economic Forum in maths and science, quality of maths and science yeah. education. Last year, kids didn't get textbooks. Two weeks ago in Limpopo, um, they had to cancel exams because um, money hadn't been transferred to print um, to print uh, material. How do we solve this, Mahasa? No, we need the uh, public servants that uh, are dedicated to doing their jobs. I would say to you, the uh, minister should have resigned. Uh, look, that's your view, but uh, how does a minister resign because some official in the department did not take the books? The, uh, who, who should take responsibility for this? Political responsibility, yes, it would be, it would be the ministry. And uh, the minister did Okay, let's it. start with that. Are you going no, to call on President Zuma to, take to, to say this minister needs to take political responsibility as the youth league? No, the minister has taken the responsibility. Uh, that, uh, is uh, why, that is why disciplinary actions have been taken against people. That's why the minister had a committee <laughs> that uh, was constituted to resolve the problem. So it can't be true that because the minister is not responsible for the actual delivery of the book, mm. uh, she did nothing. No, she did all the best. Uh, uh, Mbali, what do you have to say on education? I think education in this country is systematically so incredibly messed up that you can have a young person from the very first day that they get into school to the day that they if they are lucky enough, graduate and still not have had learned anything mm. within our education system. How do you system. solve it? I think we need to look very strongly at infrastructure. We have schools that are just schools in name only. That's the first thing. We need to be holding our teachers and our principals far more to account, which means that we need to deal with the Satsu issue, quite frankly. Mm. Um, because if we're going to continue to have this holding the government to ransom situation, then again, as we see now, we're going to have teachers that strike just before exams. Is that sustainable? I don't think so. Bali, thank you very much. Yes, and you get the last word, five seconds. What is your solution to the youth unemployment problem in South Africa? Youth Employment Accord really is the center of this. It's a multi-pronged strategy. It says all of us have a responsibility, all social parties. You can't blame the labor unions, you can't blame the state. Even young people themselves have to be in school learning. All social partners working together mm. will get it right. I think we need one hour for this show. I see Mbali <laughs> is going, no, 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 Mahasala is going, yes, 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 yes. Well, you know, we could go on and on. <laughs> Mbali, gentlemen, thanks so much thanks for the time. So and uh, happy, uh, happy Youth thanks. Day. Thanks a lot. Thank That's it for this week. Email us on justicefactor.enca.com and join us next week for more news, views, and debates. My name is Justin Malala. Have a fantastic Father's Day and an even better Youth Day. ANCA.com.